Hello and welcome to PrecisionHittingAcademy.com. This is a very fast video introduction to fast pitch hitting and slow motion video analysis. It's a very brief kind of introduction to the undeniable benefits of implementing slow motion video into your training regimen. Um, what we have up on the screen right here on the left hand side of his, our, uh, the screen is one of our, our players that's currently playing college ball and she's linked up on the screen with with Jenny Finch on the right-hand side, who we have flipped around batting left-handed because our college hitter is a left-handed hitter. So just for the video analysis purpose of it, we kind of like turn it around. Now what we're able to do is load up is load up your player, your daughter, your uh, your student, and get her up on the get her up on the screen. Shoot the slow motion video and put her up on the screens at 60 frames every second next to the best hitters in the world. We sometimes have. A saying around here that says, if you can see it in the, in the slow motion video of elite players, you might want to get it into your swing. And if you can't see it in there, it may be something you might want to stop working on. And and that just has to, you know, kind of has to do with um, at our neighborhood ballparks and stuff like that. Some of the cues that we hear, some of the things that we hear regarding um, regarding swinging, you know, and you know some of those things, you know, you may or may not be able to see in the in the in the video of high level hitters and so that's all that we're kind of trying to say like briefly I'll go through something super quick and we'll talk about um, what we like to call here kind of a box formation and it's a box formation that's set up by by like all great hitters as they swing a bat and this is male or female and and as we take these hitters through this swing we can see the same box formation basically set up here with this hitter and you know what we're really looking for is kind of as they get this set up and the front foot gets on the ground on the front side as this loading process is happening we can kind of watch Jenny on the right hand side of the screen well we can watch both these hitters and watch the loading process that happens all the way into toe touch on the front side and one thing that is kind of commonly seen in you know amateur sports and you know youth sports and stuff like that is an early unloading an early disconnecting and what we mean by an early disconnecting of bat to body of bat to body before the front foot gets on the ground which is to say before the swing is stabilized on the front side so and what we're able to see in and like all high level hitters is that this loading process will happen all the way until the front foot gets on the ground and when the front foot gets on the ground this begins to unload this begins to unload the middle begins to unload and you know basically pulls the mass of the body in and gets behind the bat head as they kind of like get into contact one other thing that's kind of like fun to look at kind of good to evaluate anybody on is kind of the action of the back foot which is a real good indication of what the middle's doing you know once you know we kind of like briefly touched on this but the middle creates everything in the swing and as the middle turns through it takes the back leg and and picks everything up and what we're able to see then is kind of the back foot either getting up in the air or definitely getting up on the toe and as we can see in this swing Jenny's foot definitely comes off the ground and so there's some other things to look at you know we can stop this thing at you know basically what we call the bat lag position and what we would call the bat lag position would be where the knob is basically somewhere in here you know where the end of the barrels pointed at the catcher and or be 1 60th of a second before that where the knob and I'll kind of move this over to make this a little more self-explanatory but everything that I'm kind of going through right now just goes to show the different aspects of the swing that we can well this is where the knob is pointed at the pitcher of the ball coming into the screen it's called the bat lag position and what we're able to do there is at the bat lag position basically be able to still draw out the exact same four-sided box that we had at the start of the swing and look how close that the ball is to it so we have the ball here and basically one more time we can still create this four-sided figure here which kind of goes into what I was leading to saying here just being really careful with what we kind of hear around the ballparks that we do here today whether it's talking about throwing the hands whether it's talking about whatever like I said if you can see it in the high level swing you may want to get it into your swing once again here's the four-sided figure Boom, we get that down there. We take her all the way into the bat lag position and even almost all the way into contact. And we can basically get this to there to there. So we definitely won't see the separation here until Jenny turns the back corner. And I'll kind of be able to 
to kind of get that back and turning the back corner and staying compact and you know what we also like to say here at Precision Hitting Academy is that as you become a better hitter you become a more simple hitter you become an absolute more simple hitter which means to say that that we'll shut down body parts that don't need to be moving as you shut down body parts that don't need to be moving what we're actually doing in reality is saving time you know we're actually able to um and let me kind of bring this up on the screen and kind of scoot this over and we'll briefly go through this i'm just going to touch on this quickly but this has to do with timing now i haven't said so in this video yet but every time that i click this every frame is is um is one sixtieth of a second so we can count frames coming in here one and that's when the ball leaves the pitcher's hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And at 60 frames a second, we're just under a half a second. We're right about 0 .4, 0 .4 seconds. And believe it or not, in Major League Baseball, from 60 feet 6 inches, we get at 90 miles per hour. We get very, we get really down to hundredths of a second the exact same timing. So what we're talking about is the more simple that we can get this swing, the more simple the less moving parts that we have the longer that she's able to the longer that your hitter and we can judge that easily with video it's it's absolutely down to hundreds of a second accurate but the longer that our hitters can sit and what I mean by sit is this and let the pitch let the pitch come before we have to commit to turning into the ball the longer the swing the longer the swing the earlier that we have to swing which means that the ball could literally be coming out of her hand right here our hitters have no idea is it off speed is it in is it out is it up is it down and our hitters have to unload because they have too many moving parts and it's taking them too long to get to the ball so slow motion video really helps us do that it really helps us to take care of that along with making sure that as we get the swing down and we know exactly how long the swing is going to take i'll let you know right now it's in between 0.12 and 0.15 seconds i told you it's really easy to gauge this on slow motion video this is absolutely unbelievably accurate and we can do that for your hitter also and how important is this as the pitching gets better how important is it and what we see is that there are fundamental movements in every hitter there are absolute fundamental hitter fundamental mechanics in every single hitter as they launch this thing through and it's just really really absolutely simple to see simple to understand and no way that you're going to be able to see what you need to see in a physical movement made made by very athletic athletic players in 0.15 seconds is anybody going to be able to break this down and help you put you on the right direction where you need to be so it's very easy to track progress week by week all we do is we track progress we bring your son your daughter doesn't matter their age from eight years old all the way up to college and we can help them put them on the right track let us be your gps in getting to the next level we can absolutely positively down to the smallest mechanics set you on path so that week by week you're able to work on the mechanics that actually work we know it works and we have any number of hitters both male and female any number of hitters that we can bring up on the screen and make sure that these things are getting done these mechanics are getting built into it so um it's really easy to understand. We look forward to seeing you at PrecisionHittingAcademy.com. We highly recommend. We highly advocate. Um, we, like, we're like we here to service you. Let us help you get to the next level. We can do it. Thank you very much, and we look forward to meeting you.